Hispanic Studies and the most relevant. You will get to know about the VCCP pattern or order in spelling words. What did that mean? Let's check this word. Rabbit. Repeat after me. Rabbit. How many vowel sounds does it have? It has two vowel sounds. Great. So this word is made up of two syllables or two parts. As you know, each syllable or each part of the word must have only one vowel sound. So since this word has two vowel sounds, so it is made up of two syllables or two parts. But the question is, how should the word be divided? First of all, let's check the order of the vowel and consonant sounds in that word. And let's start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound, and the next sound is consonant. The sound after that is consonant, and then a vowel sound. So this word, it follows the order of B, C, C, D. So what shall I do? How should I divide the word? We divide the word between that consonants. So the first syllable would be ra, while the second syllable would be bit. So it's going to be ra, bit, ra, bit, great. Another example, basket, excellent. How many vowel sounds? Two vowel sounds. So this word is made up of two syllables or two words. Let's check the pattern of the vowel and consonant sounds in the word. And let's start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound. Consonant, consonant, and then a vowel sound. So this word, it follows the B, C, C, D pattern or B, C, C, D order. So you divide the word between the consonants. So the first syllable is going to be bass and the second syllable will be so it's going to be basket, basket, so the word, how many parts is it made up of? It's made up of two parts, the first part or the first syllable is bas, the second part is kit, great. Another example, perfect, we do have two vowel sounds, so the word is made up of two syllables or two parts, how should I divide the word into syllables? Let's check the order or the pattern of the vowel and consonant sound in the word. And let's start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound. Another consonant, another consonant, and a vowel sound. So this word, it follows the B, C, C, D pattern of order. So you should divide the word between the consonants. So by knowing that this word is divided between the two consonants, I will be able to pronounce it. I will be able to say perfect, perfect. Excellent. So, the VCCV pattern. Words with VCCV pattern are divided into two syllables. So, all the words that follow the VCCV order or VCCV pattern, they are divided into two syllables. And the word is divided between the consonants. For example, narrow. Let's check the pattern of the vowel and consonant sound in the word. And, and let's start with the first vowel sound. So, this is the first vowel sound another consonant, another consonant, and a vowel sound. So this word, it follows the B, C, C, D pattern. So it's made up of two syllables, and the word should be divided between the consonants. So the first syllable will be narrow, the second syllable will be row, and the whole word is going to be narrow. Great. B, C, C, D pattern words are divided into two groups. There are two groups of B, C, C, D pattern words. The first group is the words with double consonants in the middle, like for example, kitten. Let's check the consonants in the middle, they are double consonants. And the second group is words with different consonants in the middle, like napkin. Now let's start with the spelling words with the first group, words with double consonants in the middle. First word is pattern. What does it mean? A pattern is the way in which something is arranged, or the specific order of something. So if you check the letters in this picture, you can easily find out that they do follow a pattern, or they are arranged in a specific way, or in a specific order. Great. Now let's get back to the words. How many vowel sounds does it have? It has two vowel sounds, so this word is made up of two syllables. Let's check the order or the pattern of the vowel and consonant sounds in the word. And let's start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound, another consonant, another consonant, and a vowel sound. So this word, it follows the B, C, C, D pattern, and it should be divided between the consonants. Great. So the first syllable will be fat. The second syllable is going to be turn. And the whole word is 
Saturn. Three. Another word. Arrive. We do have two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the vowel and consonant letters in the word. And we should start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound. Consonant, consonant, and another vowel sound. So the word should be divided between the consonants. Let's check the consonants in the middle. They are double consonants. Wait. The next word, suppose, to think or to guess. So here are the two vowel sounds. Let's take the order or the pattern of the vowel and consonant sounds. And we should start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound, another consonant, another consonant, and a vowel sound. So this word it should be divided between the consonants in the middle. Great. Sorrow. So this is the first vowel sound, another consonant, another consonant, and the vowel sound. So the word should be divided between the consonants in the middle. Great. So the first syllable will be sor, while the second syllable will be ro, and the whole word is sorro. Tunnel. What is a tunnel? It is an underground passage. Here are the two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the vowel and consonant sounds. Here is the first vowel sound, consonant, consonant, and another vowel sound. So this word should be divided between the two double consonants. Wait. Suggest. To mention an idea, to mention an opinion, to tell your opinion, to tell what you think. You can suggest a book to a friend. You can also suggest something to wear. So here are the two vowel sounds. Let's check the pattern of the sounds. Here is the first vowel sound, another consonant, another consonant, and here is the last vowel sound. So this word, it follows the B, C, C, D pattern, so it should be divided between the consonants, wait. So it's made up of two syllables or two parts, and it should be divided between the consonants. Common. What is the meaning of the word common? It is something that is liked or shared or done by two or more people or by a group. For example, those friends have interests in common. So when I say that they have interests in common, I mean that they all like that to do the same thing. These two friends have friends in common. What does that mean? Both of the girls have the same friends. They share the same friends. So common means something that is shared or liked by two or a group of people. Another meaning for the word common, it is also something that is popular or something that is usually or frequently done. For example, like having a Christmas tree is common in the United States. It is frequently done or it's popular in the United States. Eating turkey is common in Thanksgiving. It is popular in Thanksgiving. So again, what is the meaning of the word common? It is something that is shared or done or liked by two people or a group of people or it is something that is popular or frequently done. So here are the two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the sounds. This is the first vowel sound, another consonant, another consonant, and a vowel sound. So this word it follows the B C C D pattern and it's made up of two syllables or two parts and it should be divided in the middle between the double consonants. Wait. Scissors. Here are my two vowel sounds. Let's start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound, consonant, consonant, and vowel sound. The word follows the BCCD pattern and it should be divided between the consonants. Words with different consonants in the middle. Let's start with the first word, bargain. Repeat after me, bargain. What is a bargain? It is something that is at a lower price than its true value or than its real cost. When something is sold at a cost that is much lower than its actual price, so it is a bargain. Great. Here are my two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the sounds or the pattern of the vowel and consonant sounds in the word. And we should start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound, consonant, consonant, and another vowel sound. So this word is called the BCCB pattern and it should be divided between the consonants. Now let's check the consonants in the middle. You will find that they are different consonants. Great. 
another word, journey, a trip. Here are my two vowel sounds. There's something I need to clarify regarding the first vowel sound. The U vowel sound is made up of two sounds that are joined together and are pronounced as. So it's not about the vowel letters, it's about the vowel sounds. So again, how many vowel sounds do we have? Two vowel sounds. Great. So this word is made up of two syllables. Let's check the pattern of the vowel and consonant sound in the word. Let's start with the first vowel sound. So this is the first vowel sound, consonant, another consonant, then a vowel sound. So this word follows the B, C, C, B pattern. So it should be divided into two syllables. How exactly should I divide the words if the word should be divided? Another example, object, which is to show you this agreement of something, to show that you have another opposite opinion. Here are my two vowel sounds. Let's check the pattern of the sounds. Let's start with the first vowel sound. Vowel sound, another consonant, another consonant, then a vowel sound. Then the word should be divided between the consonants. Let's check the consonants in the middle. They are different consonants. Great. Shoulder. Repeat after me. Shoulder. These are the two vowel sounds. Again, the first vowel sound made up of two sounds that are joined together to pronounce one vowel sound. So let me remind you one more time. It's about the vowel sounds, not the vowel letters. It's about the sound that the letters make. Great. Now let's check the pattern of the vowel and consonant sounds. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, then the word should be divided between the consonants. So the first syllable will be shoal, the second syllable will be shoulder, the word will be shoulder, shoulder. Great. It's made up of two syllables with different consonants in the middle. Permit. What is the meaning of the word permit? Permit means to allow. So, is the cell phone permitted? Yes, it is permitted. Also, libraries doesn't permit food. So, again, what is the meaning of the word permit? It means to allow. Here are the two vowel sounds. Now, let's check the pattern of the sounds. Vowel sound, consonant, consonant, vowel. Then the word should be divided between the consonants in the middle. What about the consonants in the middle? They are different consonants. Subject. Here are the two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern. Vowel, consonant, consonant. Vowel, then the word should be divided between the two consonants in the middle. What about the two consonants in the middle? They are different consonants. Now, what is the first syllable? It's going to be sub. What is the second syllable? It's going to be subject. Again, one more time, let me remind you that breaking the word into syllables allow you or let you pronounce the word Correctly. For example, the pronunciation of this word would be subject. Great, subject. Custom. Repeat after me. Custom. What is the meaning of the word custom? It is something that is done by people in a particular place. Something that is usually done by people in a specific place. So it is custom that the bride wears a white dress on her wedding day. So this is custom. Something that is done by people in a particular area. Of course, it's done in all the places. Let's check the vowel sounds. So here are the two vowel sounds. So this word is made up of two syllables. Each syllable includes one vowel sound. Great. Now, how should the word be divided? Let's check the pattern of the sounds. With this, start with the first vowel sound. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So this word follows the B, C, C, B pattern. So the word should be divided between the consonants. So the first syllable will be cus, and the second syllable will be tum, and the whole word is pronounced as custom. Wait, custom. What about the consonants in the middle? They are different consonants. Perhaps. What is the meaning of the word perhaps? Maybe. Two vowel sounds. Let's check the pattern of or the order of the sounds. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Then the word should be divided in the middle or between the consonants. The first syllable is per, the second syllable is perhaps, and the word is perhaps great. What about the consonants in the middle? They are different consonants. Another example, lawyer. Repeat after me, lawyer. Here are the two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the sounds in the word. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. But be careful, you should always start with the first vowel sound. 
So here is the vowel, first vowel sound, then consonant, consonant, and another vowel sound. So this word follows the BCCV pattern, so it should be divided in the middle. Great. Timber. Repeat after me. Timber. What is the meaning of the word timber? A timber is the wood suitable for building, the wood that is used for building. Great. Here are the two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the sound in the word, and let's start with the first vowel sound, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, then the word should be divided between the consonants. What about the consonants in the middle? They are different consonants. What is the meaning of the word publish? When a newspaper or a magazine publishes a short story, what does that mean? It means that it prints or it has the short story printed out to be read by people. So again, when a newspaper published, for example, a short story or an article, it means that the newspaper or the people responsible for the newspaper, they print out this short story to be read by people. Here are the two vowel sounds. Now let's check the pattern of the sounds. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So the word is made up of two syllables and it should be divided between the consonants. So, so one more time, words with V, C, C, V pattern are divided between two syllables and the word is divided between the consonants. The last word, burden. A burden is heavy load. Let's start with the first vowel sound. So vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So this word follows the V, C, C, V pattern. So it should be divided into two syllables. And the word is divided between the consonants. What about the consonants in the middle? They are different consonants. So let me remind you, words with V, C, C, V pattern, they are divided into two groups. Words with double consonants in the middle, like the word kitten, and, and words with different consonants in the middle, like the word napkin. Great, now let's move to the reader's notebook, page 116. Let's answer the exercise. My family is beginning a to the country. My family is beginning a journey to the country, a trip. First, we drive through a winding under the bay, a winding tunnel under the bay. I tap my mother on her and ask how much farther we have to go. I tap my mother on her shoulder. She shrugs and says, 40 miles. She shrugs and says, perhaps 40 miles, maybe 40 miles. I, we stop for a snack, and mom says we will be at the picnic ground shortly. I suggest we stop for a snack. We buy three pounds of peaches from a farmer for one dollar. What a bargain. What a cheap price. Soon we pass forests full of beautiful, sturdy timber. Few trees grow around our house, but they are in the country. They are common in the country. They are popular. Okay. When we finally at the picnic grounds, I feel a little sad when we finally arrive. I, that getting somewhere is half the fun. I suppose that getting somewhere is half the fun. Now, what about your homework? Your homework is going to be the reader's notebook pages 161 and 162 plus the spelling word sheets. That's it for today. Thank you so much. See you in the next video, inshallah.